Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today's video is brought to you in collaboration that is hosted by Janet at Where You Are Homestead. This collaboration is called Feast in a Jar 23 and today we will be making a chicken pot pie that is shelf stable that you can put in your pantry and just pull out and add some water and mix it up and throw it in the oven. Something simple and something yummy. So the first thing I want to show you how to do is how to put together the pie crust that you can have in your pantry and just add water to when you're ready to use it. Like always, the full recipe will be in the description box below along with all the links to the products that I am using in today's recipe. And there is a giveaway for this collaboration which you can check out in the link down below as well at Janet's YouTube channel. All right, so the ingredients that you need to make this shelf-stable pie crust are butter powder. I'm going to be using Augustin Farms butter powder, some salt, I'm using Himalayan salt, and also three cups of flour. You can just use regular all-purpose flour. I have it in a five-gallon bucket down below, so it's not up here on my counter, but that is also going to go into this. Now, one of the variations that I like to do for my turkey pot pie and my chicken pot pie is I do like to add, this is completely optional, a little bit of Augustin Farms cheese powder. Um, I find that that makes the crust a little bit more flavorful than what it would be if you didn't have this. If you wanna get fancy, you can also add in onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper into this as well, or you can just add that to the top the day that you go to use it. Crust is also really good for pies. Um, if you are doing it for a pie, the recipe here that I'm showing you today will make two crusts, so it will make the top and the bottom for our chicken pot pie. But if you are trying to use this recipe for a pie crust, just cut this recipe in half and then that will only give you the bottom and you can make like a pumpkin pie or anything that only needs one crust that way. So the first thing I'm going to add is my three cups of flour. And like I said, it's in a big bucket down here, so. I'm just going to shake that down to the bottom. You can see that fills up quite a bit of the jar. Next thing you're going to need is two teaspoons of salt. And then lastly, if you are not getting fancy with this recipe, you will need one cup of butter powder. and it will fill right up to the very top of that jar. Okay, so you can either add in an oxygen absorber or you can vacuum seal this with your vacuum sealer and then store it on your pantry shelf. When you go to make this crust, all you will need is three-fourths cups of cold ice water. You just mix it all around and then you roll it out and bake it just like you would a regular crust. Or you can skip this part and you can use a pre-made um, crust that you can get in your refrigerated section at your local grocery store. But I love to have this on hand, easy to grab and go and mix it up. All right, the next part we are going to do is the filling part of the chicken pot pie that is shelf stable that you can have in your pantry, ready to go. So you can see I've got all my ingredients here. This is just what our family personally likes and I will show you a couple of swaps that you can do if you do not have certain products on your shelf already. So I'm going to be using freeze-dried celery from Augustin Farms, 
I'm going to use a little bit of the cheese powder because like I said, my family likes cheese. I've got some onion powder, some paprika, some garlic salt. You will need some chicken bouillon, so you can use just regular bouillon, or this is freeze-dried chicken bone broth, so this is what I'm going to be using in my recipe today, but this will work just fine. Just swap out the same amounts. Some salt, some freeze-dried shredded chicken, some freeze-dried vegetables, and then either your shelf-stable cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken soup, um, I will leave the recipe to this down in the description box below. Or if you are a Thrive Life member, you can use this in substitution as well. It works very nice in there as well. I will leave their link down in the description box. All right, so let's get to assembling these jars. Okay, the first thing I'm going to add in is the garlic salt. You will need one tablespoon. The next thing is the onion powder. You can also substitute in some dehydrated onions or some um, freeze-dried onions. So you could easily substitute in this or ones that you freeze-dried or dried yourself, which actually I might do instead of using freeze-dried or onion powder. So let's add in these chopped onions. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon and a half. Like I said, I want to show you different variations of what you can put in this. Um, just in case you don't have something on your shelf, you can easily swap it out for something that you do have. Next thing I'm going to add is some paprika. We are just going to sprinkle some of that in. Next, you will need two teaspoons of salt. I'm just gonna give that a shake. All right, we're gonna add this on top. The next thing you will need is half a cup of your homemade cream of soup mix. This one is cream of mushroom. You can also use cream of chicken. It's the same same thing, just um, this one I've added in the dehydrated mushrooms. So I'm gonna add in half a cup of that. Whoa. Like I said, you can also use Thrive's sauce as well. This thickens very nicely. Okay, the next thing I'm going to add in is my freeze-dried chicken powder. Um, the cream of chicken soup does have some bouillon in it, but we like it to be a little bit extra flavorful. So we are going to add in about two tablespoons of the chicken powder. This is just chicken bone broth that we put through the freeze dryer. Um, obviously this label is wrong because this is not broccoli anymore. And then we put it in a jar. Okay. Next thing we are going to add is some of the butter powder. We're going to add in approximately two tablespoons of butter powder. Perfect. At 
optional is to add in cheese powder or freeze dried cheese. I'm gonna add some in because I know our family will appreciate it. So let's do about two tablespoons of that. Perfect. All right, the next thing I'm gonna add in is my celery. This is optional as well. If you guys don't like celery or your family doesn't like celery, then don't add it in, but my family does. And I think it helps to beef up the inside of the chicken pot pie. So this is a fourth of a cup of celery. Then I'm gonna add in a cup of freeze dried mixed vegetables. All right, that is one cup and some spares. All right, and then last but not least is the freeze-dried chicken. If you do not have freeze-dried chicken on hand, you can always stop at this point and put this on your shelf. And then on your way home from work, you can buy yourself a rotisserie chicken, shred it up, add it to your pot and go from there. But since I have some, I'm going to throw it in. And I am just gonna fill up the rest of my jar with chicken. This is probably a freeze-dried rotisserie chicken that was left over. Mm. All right. Now to cook these up, for the pie crust, you would add in 3 fourths cup of ice cold water, mix it up, roll it out, add it to your pie crust pan. And then to reconstitute this, you take this and you pour it into a saucepan with three and a half cups of water and you boil it for 10 to 12 minutes to get everything reconstituted. And then you take the mixture and you throw it into your pie crust and then you add your top pie crust and you bake that at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and make sure you go check out the other videos in this collaboration. The giveaway will be drawn on May 6th at Janet Homestead where you are on her channel and I will leave that down in the description box below. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.